Zampula to all the listeners across the country. This is Tuji Dolma from Jimina Primary School. This radio program is to reach to all the children across the nation. The lesson for today is for Class 3, Sim Volume 4, Subject Mathematics on the topic Data Collection. I repeat, Data Collection. Today, we are going to learn mainly two things. That is, firstly, to interpret a pictograph and then to construct a bar graph and a pictograph using the scale given. Well, children, please open your sim book page 24 and be ready to listen and write when told. As you have learned to draw a pictograph in class 2, today you will learn to construct a graph using a scale and also to interpret a graph. Alright, children, then let's begin our lesson. First of all, let's go through the introduction. The introduction says, data is a collection of information. I repeat, data is a collection of information. After collecting the data, it must be organized to help us understand the information better. Let us first revise how to organize the data for easy understanding and easy reading. Well, children, can you please look at the first example given? Given below is the information of favorite vegetables of a group of 20 children. Can you look at the pictures of the vegetables given? It is difficult to tell which vegetable is liked the most as all the vegetables are mixed. Now, to help us understand the information better, we have to organize our data. Now let's look at the second example. Here you can see how the data can be organized for easy reading and writing. The first column shows the vegetables and the middle column shows the number of children in tally marks and the last column shows the number for the tally marks. Let's go through the table. Okay, the first picture is the picture of a pumpkin. How many children likes the pumpkin? Yes, you are right. Three children like the pumpkin. Do you like pumpkin children? Okay, now let's look at the second picture. What can you see there? Yes, it's a picture of a beans. Now how many children likes the beans? Yes, five children like the beans. Now, can you look at the third picture? It's a picture of a potato. It seems many children like the potatoes. Do you like the potatoes? Yes, you like it too, right? Here also, out of 20 students, 8 students like potatoes, which is almost the half of the class. Now, look at the cabbage. 4 students like the cabbage. Can you see there? Only four students like the cabbage. So, after we have organized the data, we can clearly see now that potato is most liked vegetable and pumpkin is the least liked vegetable by the children. And it's very easy for us to read how many children likes each vegetable as it's a organized data. Well, children, now let's go to the next page. Read the sentences. Here it says we can represent the data using different types of graph to help us understand the data easily. Now let's revise about the pictograph. A pictograph is a graph that uses a picture or a symbol. I repeat, a pictograph is a graph that uses a picture or a symbol to represent the number of times a data item is repeated. In the pictograph below, the symbol used 
is a smiley face. And you can see the title written on the top of the graph. The title for this graph is the favorite vegetable. Can you look there? Title and with the arrow it is shown favorite vegetable. And the title tells us what the graph is about. And you can see the levels. And you can see from the levels two arrows are going. One is going up and one is going towards the right side. And towards the upside or towards the left side you can see there it's written the name of vegetables. Then there you can see the name of the vegetables written pumpkin, beans, potato and cabbage. Then towards the right side where the arrow is pointing from levels towards the right you can see number of students. So here then the last you can see the scale. So the scale used here is one smiley face represents two students. That means if you write one smiley face then it means two students. Now look at the pumpkin. How many students like pumpkin? So this graph is drawn by looking at the data that you have seen before. Now here pumpkin three students like pumpkin as there are one and a half smiley face. One face means two students and half face means one students. So two plus one is three students. Therefore three students like pumpkin. Now look at the second one that is beans. How many students like beans? In the beans you can see two smiley faces and half smiley faces two and half smiley faces that means two smiley faces means two plus two equals four and half smiley face means one students so four plus one equals five therefore five students like beans now look at the third word it is potato there in the potato you can see four smiley faces Four smiley faces means you have to add two four times. That is two plus two plus two plus two. So that means eight. So therefore eight students like potatoes. Now the last one cabbage. There you can see two smiley faces. So that means two plus two equals four. Therefore four students like cabbage. Always remember a pictograph is represented by either a picture or a symbol. Now let's look at the bar graph. Look at the explanations given. A bar graph uses bars to show and compare numbers in different categories of information in a data set. There also you can see the title written and from there the arrow is pointed downwards where the title is written as favorite vegetable and the explanation is the title tells what this graph is about. Then you can see labels. Then in the same way as the pictograph you can see from the labels two arrows are going one towards the left there it is written as number of students and there you can see the numbers written 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. So that means here each square means 2 that is the scale of this graph. You can see the scale written there and here it is saying this graph uses a scale of 2. So likewise in the smiley face, one face means two students. In the same way here, one square means two students. Then another arrow going from labels towards the right is written as vegetables. Vegetables. Then there you can see the name of the vegetables written pumpkin, potato, beans and cabbage. Now let's look at the pumpkin first. Pumpkin. Now here you can see three students like pumpkin. How? So you can see one full square which means two students and half is there taken again. So that means one full is two and half means one student. So two plus one equals three students. 
Then 42, you can see here, it is directly at the number 8. So that means 8 students like potatoes. Then beans. There in the beans also you can see two full squares which means four students and a half square which means one student. So four plus one equals five students. Therefore five students like beans. Then the last one the cabbage you can see two full squares that means two plus two equals four. So four students like cabbage. Now I hope you have understood how to construct a graph and to interpret a graph. Well children, can you turn to next page? Look at the activity 1. Now let's look at the instruction. Look at the pictograph below and answer the questions that follows. So you have to look at this graph and answer the questions that follows. Here on the top of the graph you can see they are written favorite sport. Then uh, towards the left you can see the name of the sports written. The first one badminton, second one skipping rope, third basketball and fourth football. So you can see their names are written as well as the pictures given. And here it is said one smiley face is equal to two students. Now let's read the question. The question A says, what is the title of the graph? I repeat, what is the title of the graph? Okay, now let's look at the question B. What scale does the pictograph use? Here you have to write the scale by looking at the smiley face, how much it is representing. Now let's look at the question C. How many children like playing badminton? So there you have to look at the badminton and write the number of students who likes to play badminton. Now look at question number D. Which is the most liked sports? Look at the graph and write which sports is liked most by the students. Okay children, you can check your answers by looking at the answer box given at the end of this lesson. Hope you will be able to answer the questions correctly. Now, can we go to next page, please? Okay, children, should we look at activity 2? The instruction says, draw a broad graph using a scale of 2. I repeat, draw a bar graph using a scale of 2 for the data given below. Use the grid. You can see a grid given below the data, yes? So, there you need to draw the graph. So while drawing a graph, please don't forget to write the title, the labels. Always remember there should be two labels, one for the name of the animals and one for the number of students. And later you can check your answers by looking at the answer box given at the end of this lesson. Now please turn to next page. There is another activity as self-check for learning. This activity is for you to check your learning. So try it yourself and check your answers given at the end of this lesson. Here you have to create a pictograph for the information given below using a scale of 4. I repeat using a scale of 4. So here the data is about favorite fruit. I repeat favorite fruit. And the names of the fruits given are apple, orange, pear and banana. And the number of children who likes each fruits are apple 6, orange 8, pear 2 and the last one the banana 4. Alright children, please construct a pictograph for the data given. Well children, now let's recall what you have learned today. Can you try to think of what you have learned today? Okay, today you learned to interpret a pictograph with a scale. Then you learned to construct a bar graph and a pictograph using the given scale. So whenever you construct a graph, please don't forget to write the title, the labels 
and always remember there should be always two levels and the scale correctly now i'm sure you will be able to construct a graph and also to interpret a graph accurately so children this brings us to the end of this lesson thank you for listening we'll continue in the next lesson till then stay home stay safe and please keep washing your hands bye bye children Tu tu lu me ta me bi no bu